Hey everyone, I'm Jen. I am uh, the maker behind Jen Mug Handmade Crafts. Y'all don't know me yet, but you might now, so welcome. Um, I've been in the knitting and sewing world too a little bit here, but the knitting world for a long time, for about 12, 13 years I've been knitting. Um, I am also a labor and delivery nurse. I am a mother to a one-year-old boy and a three-year-old little boy, and I love them both very much, and I'm also a wife. And yeah, and I have a pup named Henry, so that's basically me. I'm a super nerd, and I love to knit, so welcome, and I hope you will enjoy. So the let me show you some of the things that I've been working on this Christmas season um you know i when i was pregnant um knitting had become something that was kind of hard to do because i don't know if any of you have been preg pregnant but it takes a lot of a lot on your body so you know i was tired i would sit to knit and i would just fall asleep and then you have a newborn and then you know you get pregnant again have another baby so knitting kind of took the back burner for a while but oh my gosh is it back my youngest is now about 17 months 16 months old one of those, you know, I'm not big on the month numbers, but anyways. Um, and he is super wild, but he's finally kind of at the point where he can listen a little bit and understand what no means and get out of the trash, things like that. So, you know, knitting has been a little bit more doable again. So, um, you know, I'm very grateful to have a little bit more time at home with them this year because of the pandemic. So, yeah, knitting is back in my life and I'm here to share it and I love it. So, here we go. So this first uh, item I want to show you is a sweater for my little boy, my oldest little boy. This has not been blocked yet, but this is called Gathering Stripes. Um, I will post who the pattern is by uh, here. But yeah, it's a beautiful little sweater. It was a super quick knit, super easy to make. I uh, really enjoyed it. Oh, uh, yeah, see, I haven't blocked it, so the bottom's a little bit wonky. I actually re-sewed this um, hem right here. It's one of those hems that you you fold under and then you sew it along the edge. But it was really, it's actually a really, really fun, easy pattern. Just stocking it all the way around. Um, a little bit of increases at the top. I love this garter collar, too. It's It's just a lot of fun. Now, the sleeves on mine might be a little bit shorter than what was written in the pattern. Um, I believe it had you go maybe another inch. And I didn't want to do that. My little boys, they get annoyed when their sleeves are too long, so I just stopped it there. But yeah, it definitely needs a, a blocking. As you can see, it's a little puckery here. But still, uh, really enjoyed this pattern. Super easy and super quick. So yeah, my... um. My little, or my older boy, Bradley, he was asking me to, he's been asking me to make him a red shirt forever. So I uh, finally, you know, got some yarn. This is Dapper Dye Works um, in the, in a base that I will tell you what it is. The colorway, the color is called Arizona Sky. Um, very pretty, corally red. And, um... Well, you know, I don't, I don't have the tag, but I will put down below what base this is. But it's 100% merino fingering weight. It's beautiful. It's nice and soft, and it's got this beautiful uh, soft halo to it that I really love. So, yeah, I really enjoyed making this one. The, the blue, this, is, this looks black, but it's actually a very, very, very dark navy. Uh, and this is just some leftover yarn that I had in stash, but it, that is a Miss Babs colorway. I think it was called Blackbird. So it was like very, very dark navy blue, but it looks black. And yeah, it was really, really fun. I always love it when I can go in my stash here and just, you know, pick out what's, what's chilling in there and throw it in there. So yeah, a lot of fun. So that's project number one. That's going to get blocked and I will be adding, you add three little buttons to the top here. I'll be adding those uh, this week so that my son can finally wear his red shirt. Uh, next is, I just finished this. This just came off the needles. This is a shawl. Um, let's see if I can fit it all in here. This is called A Walk in the Park. 
and it is a plucky knitter pattern. Um, this is made in their Oxford fingering base. So very, very big, warm, beautiful shawl. These, these were actually some kits that they posted about a year ago um, that they came up with, with like the, the jacket brand, the wool, they make wool Pendleton. Um, and it was one of the last plucky knitter yarns I bought. Um, you know, they've kind of had some changes in their ownership and, you know, I'm kind of, um, I won't go into the details, but kind of stick true to the, the lady Sarah who created it and her sweet sister Haley. So I kind of, um, jumped off the bandwagon, but this was the last of the yarn I bought from them. And I really love, love it. Um, this needs a blocking as well, but super soft. I love the Oxford base. Um, because it's, it's a little more rustic, um, and feeling, and it's just makes for, once it's blocked, it makes the most beautiful, just soft, wooly, luxurious yarn. So really enjoyed that. Um, and I actually have more of that to make another shawl. It's actually right here in these four colors right here. And this matches the coat I have, um, from Pendleton that I got at Costco which if you don't know Costco, then your life is sad. But yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to making another one of these because the one that I made is a gift um, for my sweet mother-in-law. And she already knew that I was going to make it for her. I don't know that she knows that it's done, um, but it needs a nice blocking. I'll probably steam block that with um, my, yeah, I have like a Conair iron thing. I got it at Costco. Um, and so I will... I will put that on my mannequin and give it a good steaming and that will just loosen up the fibers and soften it up and make for a really beautiful shawl. So yeah, that was another really fun knit. So these ones I also finished in the last year. Um, Y'all don't know me, but you know, I've been knitting a long time and this shawl, I had, a, I started this when my youngest son was born right after he was born. And like I said, it, you know, being pregnant and having newborns was a lot, but this is my find your fade shawl, which I adore. Um, and I'm sure y'all know that that pattern is by Andrea Mowry, but I just love the colors in this. This was such a fun project. I planned this for such a long time, the colors and, you know. It just turned out so beautiful. It makes me so happy and so lightweight and so big and so fun. So find your fade. Um, it's, it's really fun to just, you know, throw on and, and just wear. It's really easy to wear. I really like the asymmetrical shape on this one. I don't always love asymmetrical shawls, but this one is just really, it's just so big. It's just easy to, you know, wear like this, you know, or tuck around, you know, under your coat, but a lot of fun. So um, I used a lot of different yarns on this. I used, this is some spun right round, this purple, which she actually has a lot of fun, crazy colors, but I, yeah, I had this in stash and I decided to use it for the shawl. Um, then the next three colors, Life in the Long Grass, uh, which they make beautiful fingering weight sock yarn. And let's see, this is some hedgehog fibers, which I love, and also hedgehog fibers. And then this one right here, this greenish fun color here, that's from the Lemonade Shop, which they also have beautiful yarns. So um, hedgehog fibers, spun right round, spun right round. I love, 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 love her yarn, all of her yarn. Like you could, anything of hers, I will knit it. I love it. Beautiful yarn. So yeah find your fade. So we're just going to, we're just going to keep that on. This hat is just a, a basic hat that I made up, um, to make a messy bun hat because, uh, in the mornings when I'd go to work, cause I'm a nurse and I go to work at like, leave at like 6am or by 6am so I can be there on time. So it's pretty early. i um, getting up at five and getting ready. So my head kept getting cold. So I cast this on. This is out of Primrose Yarn Co and her Marquez, Marquez, um, DK, um, and the colorway for this is So Fetch, 
And yeah, I just love it. It's so soft. It's an, I'm pretty sure it's an MCN base, merino, cashmere, nylon. Um, it's just a soft, fun hat that I knit up. And, you know, I didn't do anything special for the top. I just um, stopped short of the last few rows where you finish up and just bailed off. So that was it. So instead of finishing it up and seaming it up and sewing it up. So a lot of fun, but a nice, nice fun hat to hide my messy hair today. So anyways, um, on to the next thing. This is another Andrea Mowry pattern because I love her. Um, she's my favorite knitting designer, her, Hohe, you know, lot, all the people, but I really, really, really love her patterns. Um, I could literally knit all of her things and I would be happy. But this is my night shift shawl. And this is made out of Primrose Yarn Company. Again, this is her Homestead Worsted. And um, yeah, like I, I originally bought six skeins, but it wasn't quite enough. So I ordered a seventh and I just love it. It's just, it was just such a fun, enjoyable knit. Um, and it's a beautiful shawl. It's, you know, it's so thick and warm. And just, you know, I love having it around the house so I can just throw it on over my shoulders and, you know, look like the crazy cat lady. I don't have cats. I have a puppy. Or he's not a puppy. He's 10 years old, but I have a dog, Henry. But, you know, I love it. And clearly I like, I love the pinks and purples. Uh, I don't know if you could tell that about me yet, but that is definitely my jam. So beautiful shawl, easy shawl. At first you're like, huh, this pattern is like, no, it's got a lot going on. But then, you know, it's one of those things like once you get in the rhythm of the pattern, it goes quick and it's, it's a lot of fun. And then you don't have to think about it anymore. You don't have to read it anymore. So a lot of fun. Uh, that one was, uh, let me show you guys what I'm working on. Um, this here is just a sock project that I started. I bought this yarn a long time ago for my husband. Actually, before I watched Outlander, but this is in a suburban stitcher bag that I love. I got this a long time ago in a little drawstring bag, so that's fun. Um, yeah, but this is Nomadic Yarns. This is whatever her BFL base is, but the color way is called Sassanac. So a lot of fun here. I mean, I just started these. These are on signature sock needles. They are size one, which is what I like to knit my socks on. Yeah, that is my, um, my little sock there. These are for my husband, uh, cause I thought these colors would be fun for him. And yeah, really love it. But you know, just a plain vanilla sock. I think I cast on 68 stitches for him instead of 64. So 68 or 72, I don't remember, but you just go with it, right? Yeah, okay. And uh, that's, that's that, just in a little bag there. The next thing I will show you guys, this has been on the needles for a long time. This is an Home Row Fiber Co. Um, bag. I love her bags. She designs all of the fabric and has it like printed on organic cotton and it's just beautiful. Her bags are just so beautiful. Love that. Just the mustard and pink. This is like my favorite one of hers. It's just, I love it. So, um, excuse me. I have an itch there. Um, yeah. So this is in some old school plucky knitter. This is in the Snug Fingering Base, and this is called Porch Swing, I believe. There's like Storm Door, I don't know. I forget, but this one's Porch Swing. This is the pattern. Oh, yes, see, I have it right here. Um, it's just a beautiful lace, oh, Screen Door. See, it's Screen Door, I was wrong. They have another one, but it's just a beautiful lace shawl that you can see right there. And the colorway is called Chamomile on their Snug Fingering Base. And I just really love it. This has been on the needles for a while, so I'd really like to finish this one this spring. Um, I feel like this is a spring knit and I need to knit it in the spring, so, you know. But very, very pretty. I knit it in the same colorway as one of the original shawls, or I'm knitting it in. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is a nice warm base with alpaca in there, so. 
very much enjoy that. But I think, yeah, it's just two skeins, two skeins of fingering weight yarn, so a lot of fun. And it, you know, it matches my owls, so that makes me, that makes my soul happy. So there you go. And the next project I will show you, I just cast this on, this is super fun, and it's in the hot right now on Ravelry. This is in my beautiful hokey hobie, hobo bag. Hohi Hobie bag. Um, hobo bag. Um, Hohi, if you don't know Hohi, like, I don't even know what you're doing in the knitting world. Like, she's amazing and super sweet. Uh, you know, just comments on everybody's stuff on Instagram and just, you know, a maker's maker. She's super sweet, but, you know, she started her bag company, Hohi & Co. Um, she also designs beautiful patterns, I'm sure you know. And holy crap, these bags are amazing. I mean, sparkly metallic pink leather. Where have you been? I've needed this in my knitting life and I love it. And I have a you know, Starbucks pen because me loves the Starbucks. But anyways, um, I am knitting this pattern that I don't remember the name. So I'm going to show you. Jolu Cow? But it's just this beautiful, I'm not going to show you the paid for part, this beautiful neckerchief. It's kind of blown out there, but just a beautiful lace um, cowl there that, you know, I am making for my sweet sister-in-law for Christmas. We have not seen them, um, you know, we're all kind of trying to be really safe. So we're trying to decide, you know, if we're going to wait to get vaccinated or what. But I got the first part of my COVID vaccine a week ago and I go to get part two in a couple weeks. Uh, for anyone who's interested, it was painless. And the next day my arm was super sore, like I had a tetanus shot and I was a little bit tired. And that was really it. No other side effects. I'm absolutely fine. Feel great. And I'm grateful to be uh, less likely to get COVID because uh, everyone has it and people at work have it, uh, our patients and it's everywhere. It's bad um, here in the North Carolina area. I'm sure it's bad everywhere, but it's bad. Yeah. So uh, just, you know, that tidbit in there. I'm very happy that I was one of the first people in the United States to get the vaccine. So very cool. But anyways, um, this is the cowl and this just a beautiful white Knit Picks yarn. This is Knit Picks Bare Bulky. Um, and this is like, it's a super bulky yarn. I think it's got alpaca in it. Yeah, it's 87 yards of bulky yarn and it is 70% wool, 30% alpaca. And oh my goodness, can I just tell you, like this is so fun to knit. The yarn is so squishy and soft. You know how, there you go. That's that's a good representation. Um, alpaca, you know, sometimes it can be one of those itchier, more irritating yarns, but oh my goodness, this one is just squish city. I love it. Love, love, love it. Uh, I mean, I'm probably going to order more of this. I, I actually don't even know that I have enough to finish all the repeats in the cowl. You're supposed to repeat the pattern four times but I might only have enough to do it three times so I might just have to order some more because you know for science um this is knit on these are actually knit picks needles that I love they are their uh I believe they're called prism interchangeable set they're new and they're the colored needles. I think they're probably similar to like the, the zings, but these ones, you know, they've kind of got the more less slippery metal up here, but then the slippery tips. I just love them. They have been great. You know, their cables aren't the best. Uh, that's just a known nitpicks thing. They're, they're pretty stiff, but it really doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother me. I got the whole set of needles and I really love them. I've, I've knit three or four projects on them now and they're just amazing. Um, and I'm, oh, I have been an Addy girl for the longest times. I love the sock rockets and the fast slick knitting, but these, you know, are a lot less likely to, my toddler, my 16, 17 month old, he likes to come up and just 
pull on what I'm working on and just yank it. So these are less likely to just slip out. And so that's been nice. But this is going to be a really just beautiful snuggly cow. She'll really love it. My, my sister-in-law, she's just like an engineer, super smart and um, super fancy. I love her. So she, I think she would love this. Yeah, there's that. And uh, the last thing I will show you today is my sock yarn blanket. This is actually, you know, this is one of those things you've been knitting for years and years, but this is in just this wicker basket that I had. I'm pretty sure I got this at TJ Maxx or something, you know, because why not? But um, I love it because it's just nice and sturdy. It just chills in my yarn room when I'm ready to work on it. I can just, you know, take a couple balls and the blanket, whatever. So this is a lot of fun. And I actually have, whenever I'm finished with a project, I put my leftovers in here. So these are from my like find your fade shawl right here. Um, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of fun to just use up scraps and get mini skeins. But this is my sock yarn blanket. Uh, that's the wrong side. That I have been working on for a while. A lot of fun. I did decide, you know, to use self-striping, whatever. First I was like, oh, I just want it to be pretty. And was, you know, thinking about what colors to use. And then I was like, you know what? It's just going to be scrappy and fun. And I love it. I love it a lot. Um, this is all I have right now of it. So clearly need to, you know, get back working on this, but this makes me so happy to have. It's a beautiful, fun, easy project. A lot of fun. So there is that. Oh, and there is one more thing I'm going to show you. Hang tight one second. Y'all couldn't resist. Um... This is another one of my Hohe bags. This is her Pampa bucket, the regular size. Both of these are in the regular size. She has extra large versions of these, which uh, you know I'm gonna get um, as soon as I can. So she's on a vacation right now from her bag shop. So Hohe and Co right there. Beautiful. I will be casting this on this. More Knit Picks needles. I have them ready to go. But I have these beautiful balls. Let's do this of yarn. This is from the Sweet Georgia Holiday Advent this year. Um, I think this is the Wonderland colorway. Um, she had this one and then she had a more reddish orange colorway too. But these beautiful little sock mini skeins. I am going to cast on the Habitation Throw. I was going to do the Advent and then, you know, I was knitting Christmas gifts and all of that. So these are the first six colors. I just wound these in bowls when my kids were eating and stuff downstairs. I didn't bust out the ball winder for this, but those are the first six colors. And these are the other six colors, 12 colors total. They all go together very well. Very beautiful yarn from Sweet Georgia. It's just their sock yarn, but oh my goodness, so pretty. I want to make all the things, but... Um, yeah, so I'm going to be casting on the Habitation Throw. It's a very popular blanket right now. And I'm going to make my, uh, my little niece who is coming in March, um, a blanket because my, it's my sister's second baby girl and I made her first baby girl a hand knit blanket. And these are those Knit Picks needles. I'm just showing you needles, I'm not telling you. So, um, yeah, I'm going to work on that Habitation Throw for her. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. It's such a pretty lace blanket pattern and I'm really excited to get working on that for her. So this is just beautiful. It's just such a soft like squishy bag of beautifulness and just fun. I love this Pampa style because it's just like and I love the hobo style too. Here they are side by side because you know you can put your pins on it and just squish it up. So I cannot wait to get some extra large versions of her bags. They're gorgeous. They're worth the splurge. Oh my gosh. Love them. So there's that. And uh, the la last thing I'll show you here is some stash enhancement. I got some yarn for Christmas. Um, I did it, well, you know, from Santa. Um, this was Miss Babs. 
We did a big Miss Babs order, so I'll show you all the yarn I got. This is Nashville Lights, is the colorway. And this is her Putnam base, it's a fingering weight. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 400 yards. Beautiful, like, clearly these are my colors, so. You know I needed some socks out of this. So there you go. There's that. I also snagged this uh, colorway called Hitchhiker's Birthday. I got it in two bases. This is her Estralita base, which is like her fingering. Um, it's super wash wool and then 8% Lurex. So it's got them sparkles in there. Cause you know, I look like a sparkle girl, right? Cause I am, uh, love it. So, and I got the mohair version of this colorway too. It's 72% mohair, 28% silk, uh, 435 yards. So. I don't know what I'm going to make out of this yet. I might make something up. Um, you know, two fingering weight yarns, one in the mohair. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. But they are beautiful. That looks like a little, uh, just such a fun project. Uh, you know, like who doesn't want sparkle and fuzz? Like, come on. You know I do. So, yeah, I snagged those. Love them. Uh, next is... I snag this base. This is her Autumn Toad Lily colorway. It was her SAF, like Southeastern Animal Fiber Fair. I've been a few times. Um, obviously it didn't happen this year because of COVID, but this is her Autumn Toad Lily colorway, her special colorway for SAF 2020. She still made her beautiful colorways, even though no one could attend. But look how beautiful, just the purple and the green and just, you know, Makes me feel like I'm a fairy running through the forest. No big deal. Um, beautiful. But this base is yearning. It's a heavy lace. It's 65% merino wool, 35% tuss of silk. And they're 1,200 yards each. So these are monster lace skeins. And just gorgeous. Um, I've always wanted to knit a Via Jante by Martina Bem. Something that I've always wanted. Just that, you know, sweet poncho cape uh and so this will become that here soon so very exciting very exciting um and then the last thing I got you know I just I just needed a skein of Yelza because you can't buy Miss Babs without buying a skein of Yelza it should be like a cardinal sin um this colorway is called Mariposa and it's her Yelza base which is 100% superwash merino and wool but it's 560 yards in one continuous skein so, my goodness. Look at this yarn, baby. I loves it. So pretty. Uh, this I'm sure this will be like a nice DK weight shawl. I love shawls. They make me happy. But absolutely beautiful. So I picked that up as well. And I'll show you one, a uh, couple more things here. I already showed you this plucky on here. So Dapper Dye Works is the company who is owned by uh one of so the plucky knitter her sister Haley this is her husband okay um Ryan this is Ryan but this is his new yarn company and this yarn is gorgeous gorgeous um and you know I knit my son's sweater out of it and loved it and these were some of his b-side skeins that were on sale, so um, apparently there's some some issues with them, but I see no issue. This colorway is called Blue on Black, and this is in the 100% BFL colorway. So I will probably be making my husband some socks out of this. He's already got a hat kind of in this color, so and that actually that Blackbird Miss Babs color that I showed earlier. But yeah, very beautiful, very beautiful, very dark blackish navy. Uh, I don't see a anything wrong with this. I'm not sure why it's a B-side, but maybe it was a little bit darker than the colorway intended. I don't know, but I love it. And then I also picked up um, a B-side of Tundra. This is Baby Alpaca and uh, Merino. 80% Merino, 20% Baby Alpaca. Oh my goodness. And it's worsted weight. This this color is my jam too. Look how beautiful that yarn, the yarn is plied. So pretty. Um, I have absolutely no idea what's wrong with this either. The colorway is called Cosmo and I love it. These were surprise colors. So that's always fun. And 
obviously nailed it out of the park. So yeah, don't know what's B-side about it, but I love it. Uh, and then I also picked up this yarn in Claire DK. That's the base or the color. Yeah, the base. Um, this is 80% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, and it's DK weight, 245 yards. And the colorway is called I'm Your Huckleberry. So I don't know if you've ever seen a uh, tombstone, but you know. When Val Kilmer is all like, I'll be a huckleberry. So, love it. It's so beautiful, so squishy, so soft. Can't wait. This will absolutely be a nice, beautiful shawl for myself. So, love it. So those are some of my stash enhancements there. And yeah, uh, looking into the new year, I've got a lot of plans for knitting. Um, we're just going to put these back real quick, put the fat rest back later, but, um, I'm getting ready to cast on a sweater from the Outlander knitting book. And clearly I'm an Outlander fan. Um, if you couldn't tell, this is the official book. So also have the cookbook. I love that thing. I am obsessed. Okay. Let me tell you, I've made so many recipes in they're just amazing. Like every single thing I've made, I made a millionaire shortbread for Christmas. Holy crap. I think I've eaten like a lot of it and I'm not even ashamed to admit it like myself. Um, uh, my kids finally tried it and caught on. My youngest actually brought me the Tupperware with the last piece this morning and started shaking it. And I was like, mm, yeah, no, I don't know. Well, we split it. It's okay. I split it with them, but oh my gosh, so good. So if you like to cook, check it out. But anyways, love me some Outlander. Um, a fun story and I've recently made my husband watch it too so anyways I, I got this I pre-ordered this book so when it came I was so excited and there's a lot of fun patterns in here they're more inspired by the movie um I will show you the sweater that I am gonna cast on first let me find it because it's in here Yes, here we go. This is the Randall Fraser sweater. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. It's just like gorgeous. This is based off of uh, Brianna uh, in, the, in the series. I won't, you know, tell you. I won't spoil anything for you, but my goodness. So beautiful. So I plan to hopefully cast that on in the new year. There are a lot of really pretty patterns in here um you know you have her Claire's basic shawl I don't know what it's called it's called rent shawl when they're collecting the rents she's wearing a shawl like this beautiful easy that looks so easy and fun to make um let's see what else I can show you out of here fun little tam beret hat there beautiful color work in here a lot of Fair Isle. This is a sweater based off of Frank. And, you know, even a capelet cowl. So some of the patterns are more loosely inspired off the series and everything. But there were some really beautiful, these mitts and cowl look very pretty. A lot of really pretty knits in here to make. So... A lot of fun. Really love that book. So I plan to make that. I plan to cast on that hitchhiker. Um, I've also got some sewing plans. I've got some beautiful fabric up here. I'll show you if you care. I somehow joined this group on Facebook and this lady like sells knit fabric on it. And then, oh my gosh, this is like a sweater knit with sparkle. W what the heck? Like this, this going to be a holiday dress for next year for sure. Look at that. Love me some sparkle. And it's like a tie-dye. Like, oh my gosh. So pretty. Um, also picked up this skein of her baby waffle. It's like tie-dye. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. So that, I like to make me a nice, like, you know, thermal uh, long sleeve shirt out of that. Beautiful. And... Show you one more. Oops, this is a beautiful French terry and a, like a baby lilac. 
Oh my goodness. It's, it's so soft. So soft. Not sure what this will be yet, but it's my baby. So love it. So yeah, looking forward to a lot of uh, sewing in the new year and making new things and leaving 2020 behind, especially, you know, having been a nurse this year, it's been rough. Um, it's been rough, even though I, you know, I work in labor and delivery, we're still, you know, we, we get floated to the COVID ICU to help. And when it's slow and, you know, we've been, we've been seeing our fair share of positive patients. We COVID test in our obstetrics emergency department. So it's been a lot. I've been lucky enough to where I've been able to cut back hours since my kids have been out of daycare to kind of help watch them. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the time I've had with my kids while they're young this year and to be able to get my craft mojo back and get back in there. But it's, I'm looking forward to 2021. So, you know, nobody's going to call it their year, but, uh, you know, bye Felicia.